Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we have this 2022 Ford Edge. This one is a SEL with the all new for 2021 Adventure Package. And uh, for some reason later in the model year, they changed it to the SEL Sport Appearance Package. So if you go to build and price, you'll see it's called SEL Sport Appearance Package. But on this one, the window sticker says SEL Adventure Package. So that's kind of interesting that they did that. But let's go ahead and start off here in the front. So the grill is unique to this appearance package. You can see there it has a nice carbonized gray finish on it, nice metallic. And also has these pillar black uh, bars, these slats. That's what they call it, pillar black, looks really good. Look at down here, we have LED fog lights with a little chrome trim around them. And then down here we have more of that carbonized gray look on this lower portion here. Looking at these headlights, we have LED projectors for the low beam and high beam, but just standard bulbs for the turn signal right here. But you do have LED side markers, LED accent lighting, and you also have the LED fog lights that are projector style, like I mentioned earlier. This one is finished in agate black, so it's kind of hard to see the accents, but I'll try to point them out for you guys. And these uh, wheels and tires are kind of interesting. So I don't know if you guys can see very well, because I know the sun is kind of... Okay, there we go. So these are some all-terrain Falcon tires. It's a pretty aggressive tread pattern. It definitely makes it look a lot more beefy. These are 18-inch wheels in carbonized gray. See there? And now let's find the size here. The size on these tires is 245-60-18s. So you can see it's pretty beefy. Let's back up here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's go to the other side, actually. Because I never know how to park when I'm in the sun like this. So maybe this side will give you guys a little better look here, what it looks like. Mirror caps are also painted black, but since the car is black, you can't tell. But if the car was a different color, you'd definitely be able to tell the difference there. And you can tell actually because the mirrors do not have a metallic on them. They're just regular black. And then you can see the paint does have a metallic on it. Hopefully you guys can see it in the uh, camera there. So that's kind of interesting. It's two different blacks, but you don't really notice the difference. So you have a nice chrome trim around the windows, got body color door handles. In the back here we have LED tail lights, LED turn signals, and LED reverse lights. So I do like that. But it just has standard bolts for the license plate lights. Unfortunately they haven't made the edge uh, have LED license plate lights yet. I don't know if they ever will. Then looking at the back here, I'm surprised on this uh, uh, sport appearance package that they didn't give it the dual exhaust out the back. Because uh, I think it looks kind of plain without the exhaust coming out the back but you can see them kind of underneath and uh you can kind of see them underneath from far away which doesn't look all that great in my opinion but um you know that's just how they did it and then all edges for 2022 are all-wheel drive and uh, there are some new color options so uh, feel free to check out my video on the forged green that's a very interesting color but uh let's go ahead and pop the hood and uh, see what we're working with here all right guys just pop the hood of this edge here it has a two liter turbocharged four cylinder, same engine that you can get in the Escape, Maverick, uh, vehicles like that. Puts out 250 horsepower and either 275 or 280 pound feet of torque. I'll uh, put it on the screen. But uh, this is a really good engine. Um, this is obviously a bigger, heavier vehicle, so it won't feel as quick as like Mavericks and Escapes. But uh, it still gets pretty decent MPG. It gets 21 city, 28 highway, and 23 combined. And like I said, all edges are all wheel drive for 2022. So there's no more uh, 2.0 front wheel drive version. And you can see there's no uh, hood liner or anything up there, but you do still have the nice hydraulic hood struts. And then uh, no engine cover, so the engine is completely exposed. You can see all the inner workings. But uh, let's go ahead and hop inside and see what the inside looks like. All right guys, hopping inside here, we have smart key access on only the front two doors. Uh, I think they took that away in the 2020 model year. They stopped putting it on all four doors. And then you do have uh, the Ford keyless entry pad right there, you can see. But like I said, smart key access, so let's go ahead and open it up. So looking at the door here, you can see we have black up here, but it has this interesting navy pier uh, on the inserts there. So that's a very interesting color that Ford is starting to put in their uh, new vehicles like the Maverick and uh, stuff like that. See we have automatic up down for the driver and passenger here, but uh, not for the rear passengers. We do have a power driver seat, and this is also Navy Pier with orange accent stitching. So uh, let me know what you guys think of this Navy Pier. I think it looks pretty good, but 
I don't know. I, I'm not sure on how I feel about the Navy Pier. Let me know what you guys think. And on the side over here, we have our lighting controls and then just a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Well, let's go ahead and hop inside and see if there's anything else that's different. All right, guys, forgot to film it, but just push the button. Oh, just push the button to start it up here. And then uh, the gauges came to life. The huge screen came to life. Gauges are similar to every other edge. I'm not going to go into it too much. I'm just going to quickly, you know, you have your trip info, your driver assist. You can see we have lots of driver assist tech in this one. Lane keep assist, all that stuff. And then this side, you can just show, um, it's pretty self-explanatory, your navigation, your entertainment, phone, all that stuff. And uh, looking at the center here, we have this huge, massive screen. I've gone over this in other Edge videos, but we'll just quickly show you guys. You know, you can press this and then go through all your settings here, like vehicle settings, uh, change your sound. Open up the climate control screen. You have to click this one right here. And then this opens up your climate control screen. You can turn on your max AC, your recirculating. Uh, change the different zones and it's kind of cool it shows you where it comes out it's kind of interesting and then you also have heated seats down here which are kind of annoying i wish they were buttons because you have to press it and then kind of like slide this up and sometimes it can be a little laggy and stuff but uh it's pretty good nonetheless backup camera very uh decent backup camera and then there's your parking sensors looking down here we have wireless charging on this one because it does have the convenience package we have two usbs over here one of them is a little one then we have a uh, gear shifter, all this storage in here. Looking in here, more storage, uh, no light. And then uh, for 2022, they do not have a light in the glove box either, which is very unfortunate because I like having my lights. But other than that, it's just like every other edge. We have LED lighting on the inside. This one, since it has the convenience package, has the garage door opener. Let's see if these are illuminated. Yep, they're illuminated, looks nice. But let's go ahead and check out the back seat and see if there's anything different in the back. All right, guys, checking out the back seat. We have the black up here and then the same as the front with the Navy Pier in the middle. Navy Pier seats in the back as well with the orange stitching. Again, let me know what you guys think of this uh, seat color. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it is blue. And then you can open this down. You have your armrest. You have your two USBs down here, and then we have a uh, home power outlet, so that's nice. No heated rear seats, but you do have AC vents and then pockets behind the seat. And if you guys are curious how six foot five person fits behind a six foot five person, it's a decent amount of room. Um, these edges actually have a lot of room inside. It's just that the seat is kind of far back right now. But uh, I can definitely fit back here fine. My dad has an edge and we take it everywhere and I have no problem fitting in the back. Other than the headroom when you get a sunroof. Do not get a sunroof if you're really tall because it will really reduce your headroom. Because my head is always touching the ceiling. Well, on this one, perfectly fine headroom wise see there we have a power tailgate that's nice then uh the edges always had a whole bunch of room in the trunk like this is massive right here got an led on the side here you got storage more storage uh tiny storage right here you can fold down the seats uh, i'm not gonna do it right now because i don't want to fold them back up then we have a 12 volt back here some hooks you can put like some grocery uh hangers and or grocery bags and whatever on there but yeah a lot of storage space in the back of the edge let's check under here real quick see what they got Okay, lots of storage under here as well. You can put some additional um, cleaning supplies or whatever you want to put back there. Flashlight, whatever. But let's go ahead and take this edge for a quick spin and uh, wrap this video up. All right guys, we're not gonna do anything crazy. I'm just gonna drive around the parking lot here. But these edges, they drive really smooth, especially the ones that aren't the ST and Sport models. They, uh, they drive really smooth actually. So it has a nice ride, has quite a bit of room inside and um it's just a really comfortable car to drive around so this is a this is a good choice if you guys want a mid-size suv it is getting a little bit longer in its lifespan which is why you can see some things that are a little bit dated they tried to like make it a little bit more updated with this but um yeah it's a pretty decent suv very easy to park but let me know what you guys think of this uh, sel uh appearance package or sport package whatever you want to call it um, Ford calls the sport appearance package now and uh, I will see you guys in the next video